Hello and welcome to Meet the Beat. Today we're going to be sharing with you um, our take on burgers stuffed with goat's cheese. So a real French style burger. We're going to put an onion relish into this burger. So we'll start by showing you how to make that one. We take a nut of butter, put it into a hot pan, and then we fry up three big onions. Um, we've just chopped these onions very, very nicely. And uh, to make this relish, we need the onions to fry for quite a long time in order to get a lot of sweetness out of the onions. So we'll let it fry for around 15 to 20 minutes um, at quite high heat. But of course, you have to keep an eye on your, on your onions so that they won't roast or like burn. So we add pepper and salt to them and uh, this is the result after about 15-20 minutes uh, on the pan. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to add in a bit of garlic, uh, minced garlic. We take two cloves and uh, we just nicely stir this in. There's no need to, to get the garlic roasting too much. We don't want it to burn, we just want it to add flavor to the onion relish. And at this stage we will put in some apple cider vinegar just to give the, the onion relish a little more taste and a little more flavor, sort of like a deep flavor. And that's what you see here, that the cider vinegar is starting to, to boil a little bit. And uh, then we are adding in a little bit of cayenne pepper because we like that spice that it gives to the onion relish. So what you have now is the onion relish that you want to put into your burgers, sort of like a garnish. You could also eat this onion relish with a lot of other dishes. It wouldn't have to be a burger. So do as you please. What we're going to do now is we're going to stuff our patties with goat's cheese. So we take a fresh goat's cheese, like the one in the picture. And we start by chopping it up very finely. We just want it to be sort of smushy and mushy so that we can put it into the patties. It doesn't really matter how, how it ends up looking. And uh, goat's cheese like this one is quite sticky, so it's it's quite easy to put into the patties. What we've done is we've taken a large patty and divided it up into two and made two kind of flat pieces of burger patty. And uh, in between these two we're going to put the fresh goat's cheese, as you can see here. And it's quite, quite important that you close up the patties in the sides quite well so that nothing will go out on the side. Um, as you can see here, we've tried to close it up as good as we could um, in order for the goat's cheese to stay inside those patties. We want them to be real nice and juicy and uh, we obtain that result best by, by closing up the patties a lot into the sides. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just give them a little bit of a chop on the top in order to squeeze out all the air that might be inside of the burgers. And then we'll go to frying the patties. We have uh, warmed up some canola oil into a pan and uh, as you can see here we have two sorts of patties. One of the patties is goat's cheese and the other one is actually filled with cheddar and jalapenos. You may be able to see a little piece of cheddar there on the pan on the side. If you want to see that recipe it is on our Meet the Beat channel so go and watch that one if you haven't. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna fry these patties for around five minutes on each side. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, maybe not less. but maybe a little more if you prefer your patties a little well done. Um, as you can see the patties have started to opening up a little bit on the sides here. It's, it's what happens if you don't keep an eye on them. I think we forgot that for a little bit of a moment but the best thing is if you can try to turn them over as often as possible and that way they won't crack up and open and uh, let out all the cheese as they have done in this case. It's, uh, it's a little sad but the taste is still pretty good. Don't worry about that. While, uh, or after you've fried up the patties, we will um, recommend you to assemble your burger. What you do is you put some mayo and some ketchup into a nice roasted bun. And then you add a little bit of uh, fresh romaine lettuce. And of course one of your lovely patties filled with goat's cheese. Then you take a couple of big spoonfuls of the hot onion relish and put on top. In order for the onion relish to still be warm when you assemble your burger, you can just warm it up in the microwave for a few minutes and that will give you a better result. And there you have your French style goat's cheese burger ready for you to dig in. Enjoy!
thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to Meet the Beat on YouTube and on Instagram as well and give this video a thumbs up.